Anna, Anna, wake up, wake up. What is it, Chi Chi? What is it? Look, look, I found out what they did and how they did it. Who did what and how they, and who, how, who did how, what, and what, when, and what, what, what? Wake, just wake up. Just look, look. So, the three humans, well, the two humans and the Nephilim, yeah? They were part of a little resistance movement on Earth. Yeah, well, no shit, because um, that's where they are. That's where they got caught. Yeah, well, it gets, it gets better. So, you got the old man who is a Nephilim. And it's listed that his child was taken into protective custody. He didn't even know that he was a Nephilim. And they took his child when they arrived. Nah. Yeah, so why do you think he's pissed off enough to go around killing a Nephilim and uh, Anunnaki? Wow. Wow, so he didn't know what he was. No, no, no. I think he was like a, an illegitimate. Wow. So illegitimate had his uh, had his child taken away. Yeah, yeah. So what happened to the child? Well, she got taken into Anunnaki protective custody, and that's all I know. That's all I could find out. You know, how did you find this out? Well, I went into the station's bar, and I started asking around, and the bartender. The bartender told you. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are really well known. Yeah, if they're that well known, why have we not heard about them? Well, we have just heard about them. I heard them from the bar. So they're being talked about the entire fleet. You know, it's got the... These guys have really given the Anunnaki the shits. They're scared of them. Yeah, but they're in custody. Yeah. But how many people do you think the three of these guys killed? I don't know, like 10 or 20. No, no, no. So you've got the uh, old man, that jacket that he's wearing. Look, look at the photo. Okay, yeah. Notice anything about that jacket? Oh, it's covered in patches. Those patches are the skins of his enemies that he's killed. Nah. No, no, look, look. Yeah, but no, no, look closely. Look closely. Yeah? He's cut patches of their skin off his enemies and sewn them onto his leather trench coat. Oh shit. Oh shit, yeah. That's a lot of patches. Yeah, and don't forget, when he's in the shootouts, there's going to be more people that he's killed and not been able to take any skins. He's a brutal killer. So he's killing the masters. Yeah, as though they're the shit on his shoes. This is what we should be doing, Anna. Gigi, look, you you can't be saying stuff like this on an Anarchy ship. You don't know if they're out recording us. You don't know if they're filming us. You don't even know if they're watching us live. Look, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. And look at this. This boy here, yeah? He's like one of the apprentices of the old man. Yeah? And uh, what's he done? I was told that he escaped from an Anunnaki research centre because he's not a Nephilim but he's genetically stronger than most humans he can take a lot more pain and they don't know why that's why he was uh, experimented on for so many times what do you mean for so many times what kind of experiments they're doing weapon tests on him stun guns a lot so he can take a lot of pain wow wow that's amazing that is yeah and you know what's even better what what he is so fit he's so fit you want to like um have him do you do you really think a human's gonna want an anasapien like get us i mean we're identical twins so uh you know there's <laughs> i can see it never happening chi chi look don't worry about that don't worry about that but this killer here one day he'll be mine really really and what makes you say that he's heading here nah nah yeah yeah right so they've been split up onto different ships just in case they got loose so they can't work together okay so um the old man's on his way here as well 
Okay. And what about the other guy? You said there's three. Yeah. Well, he's on his way to the Emperor. What? The Emperor wants to make an example of him because uh, he's going to get executed live on TV on the Biru. You're kidding me. Why? Why in the Biru? Why? 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 Why him? Not the others. I would have thought the old man would have been uh, more of a candidate to be uh, executed in front of everyone. No, 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 the old man's too dangerous. They're going to get him to this station and they're going to execute him here on TV. But no, they'll never allow him near the Emperor. Really? Okay. So, what are they doing with your dream boat? Well, they're sending him uh, elsewhere for uh, further experiments. What do you mean for further experiments? They're not finished with him. They want to know what's so special about his genetic code. Right. And this is all from the barman. Yeah, yeah, the barman's told me everything. And how does the barman know that all this? Well, obviously someone's told him and someone told that person and so on and so forth. So, hold up. So you're saying that this, um, this reptile uh, whisper, yeah? This reptile whisper. It could be absolute bollocks and completely changed by the time we heard it. No, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so, because because I uh, checked on the ship's computer. Please say, Chichi, that you haven't. No, 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 look, it's fine. It's fine, because um, it basically came up with uh, what's happening. They've sentenced them. So you've got the uh, one called Josh going to Nibiru to be executed. you got my dream boat, Henry... He, he's coming here to be transferred and the old man, they just don't know his name, they've not released his name. So there's a Nephilim, an unidentified Nephilim that they don't know anything about. No, not at all. Not at all. And he's going to be executed here on this station as well. Yeah, yeah. Any idea when they're going to turn up? Well, according to the uh, computer, in a few days' time. A few days. Okay. Okay. Well, guess what? What? You need to forget about that and start fucking mopping the corridor. It's your turn. Oh, no. Anna, please don't. Yeah, seriously. Go on. It's your turn to do that corridor. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't. Please don't. <sighs> Look. You have to, okay? I did it yesterday, it's your turn, but no buts, just go and just do the mopping, okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on, Captain. I'm just making the time pass a lot faster by trying to enjoy myself whilst I'm here, mopping this horrible floor. You stop that goddamn noise. I don't want to hear it. But, Cap. No boss. <laughs> now get that all cleaned up. Get that all cleaned up. Trouble. But, but, why, why have you just done that for? You asking me questions. I'm the captain of this ship, and now you've got water all over my bedchambers. No, but, but you kicked it over. No, you made me kick it over. Now get it tidied up. Get a locked up before I get to bed. Now. Okay, sir. Okay. I will start doing that. Now, why are you doing that? It's a bit hot in here. You take your top off. Oh, but, but, Captain. Just take your top off. Captain, please don't. I mean it. I want to see them. So either that, 
I'll be clicking your heels in my bridge. Oh, Captain, okay. Okay. Thank you for listening to The Bounty, a 30 years since story. If you enjoy any of our content, why not check out our other story-based podcasts? They are A Tribute to Men That Hate Their Jobs and Gumshoe. All the links for those are in the description below. We also have our Total Entertainment Podcast, where I talk about the process of setting up a live show and a review of that show as well as having the odd interview of a grassroots entertainer, musician or singer. The link for that is also in the description below. Until next time guys, bye for now.